Emmanuel, there is, um, we like to say that we've really advanced. You know, we have uh, better ways of moving around. Like now we can literally leave here and go to Mombasa and have a meeting and come back. So transport has improved. Because of uh, internet, I can literally talk to a friend in America in real time, video chatting, FaceTiming, and so on and so forth. Um, and then, you know, you remember the Beijing egalitarianism, women wanting equal rights. And there's a lot of talk about the girl child to be, you know, put on the table to make decisions and to head corporations. And it's a wonderful thing. The world is moving into the right direction, I'd say. However, every time you bring about the topic about who between a man and a woman should pay the bill mm -hmm. and how often should either of them uh, uh, pay the bill, it mm. brings a very... Yeah. In, yeah, in fact, uh, uh, the narrative is just as you said, everything has changed except, except the thought on this particular topic. Yes. In fact, it's very embarrassing. M many women hang out talking about this guy, he paid for me this, yes. this guy is bad, he couldn't even yeah. pay for me yes, this. Yes, absolutely. You know? Like we are going to universities and training our women and our sisters yeah. and our mothers yeah. to be head of corporations and lead mm -hmm. and be in the front line. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at the athleticism. Casta uh, Semenya is winning yes. and uh, Serena Williams is mm -hmm. winning. But then now women reduce themselves mm -hmm. to be subservient that particular when it comes moment. to that level. Yeah, at that particular so what in your view in an, I think, in yeah, an, an, an interesting story would be there's this lady who works uh, for an airline, a local airline, and she's paid a very good amount of money. Yes. The husband works in Qatar. In, a, in another airline, yes. all right? So this guy, this lady is here, but this guy, she calls this guy in, in Qatar and says, hey, man, am I, I need to make my hair. Yes. So this guy has to send the money for rent, he has to send the money for food, and then he also has to send money for hair for this lady. Okay, it's his wife, yes. Mm -hmm. But honestly, and then when he comes back, obviously, he has to take her out, you know, he's been away for long, mm -hmm. he has to take her out and pay for all those things. Mm -hmm. So when, the question is, when do they, when does it stop? When does it reach to a point where even the woman can say, hey, um, you've been paying for bills all our lives, why can't I buy this lunch? Because it feels good. Yeah, I think I, we've discussed this yeah, before. I'll give a very personal um, experience of my own. Until I dated this particular woman, um, this white woman, I was for the idea that the guy should must always what not. There's no problem. In fact, men uh, traditionally express love by giving. But not to say that men hate receiving. My dates before this white woman, except for maybe two or three, uh, were very, okay, so where are we going for dinner? Okay, there's this new place that has opened, we go try it out. Oh, but there's this market, blah, blah, blah. Not we go, I check you, you go try out. It was always, you take me, you take me, you take me. But it was very balanced with this white woman. You know, she'd say, how about I take you for dinner and then there's these tickets that I bought on Tuesday night if you're free, we can go watch this play or this movie. So for the first time in my life, I felt like, wow. So, so it can actually be like this. Mm -hmm. But um, a Miro woman, an African woman in the most urban setting, expect that they look good, dress good, and then be taken out perpetually. Mm -hmm. Like I always say this, you don't have to Personally, I'm not very big on a tea, fumes are in a chick's money, yeah? Mm -hmm. But if I took you out for dinner, say for dinner, and I've taken you out for four dates, why can't you say, for ladies who are watching, why can't you say, uh, I'll buy bread, this brown bread at uh, Chandarana, mm -hmm. you say 180 bob, and you buy ham sandwich, then you make a sandwich, then you buy the Ceres juice, and then we go to Karura, yeah, you in, your you own accord, in your own accord. In your own accord. So even if you don't have a car, and say I have a car, you can say, babe, uh, what are you doing on Saturday? I have a plan for us. Mm. There's this say, friend of mine who met this lady, he was living with his brothers. So they used to eat, uh, like, like uh, the brothers, there were like three brothers, yes. including himself, so there were four. Yes. So they'd eat two eggs each in the morning, plus a large loaf and tea, yeah. all right? And then at <coughs> lunchtime, the guy would buy meat. Yeah? And for dinner, they'd have like, you know, he'd buy like a kilo of meat or as in it wouldn't run till the next day. Yes. So he met this lady who was like, and she was a sapere lady. Mm -hmm. Those sapere ladies must say kudos. Eh? Yeah. So she was like, hey, but now, kilo moja. Why don't we buy 
uh, mboga, yeah. all right? Yeah. And then the nyama, we just buy maybe half, yeah. all right? And then we buy some warus. You know, we buy some warus. Yeah. But the point is, she stretched that 200 bob yeah. to last a very long time Absolutely. compared to what they used to fuel Zagi. So my point is, you can even give you can even give uh, in kind, ideas. In kind. She took the guy to Kitsengela, they went, they bought a plot. Oh, they consumed, oh. yes, but this guy will never forget that. Chief. Absolutely. Because she was like, hey, obviously the brothers were upset. Yeah, you have to give them credit. They no doubt. Most women are very. Yeah. Yeah. So I think you can even give uh, uh, ideas mm. that can bring the relationship mm. forward. Mm. Yeah. I think also just um, uh, the ability to carry your own weight is attractive. I mean, the idea that you're suggesting I take you to a burger place, and yet you cannot, yeah. in your own accord, buy yourself a burger, is very warped to me. Like, why are you having desires of things that are we need above your yeah. breath? You know, like your and also changes. using, which is a very African thing, and it's uh, tremendously sad. And guys should see this and take it to heart. It's only in Kenya, and a few African countries have been blessed to be where women look at men as a work or op job opportunity. Like an income generating Project, thing. Check it so una semona ni peleka kula lunch lini. It's always una peleka kula lunch, una ni peleka salon. You know, semo na ni buy ye your dress. It's there's a time disgusting. I this, there's a time I had this thing with this uh, lady. She was she was actually in campus. Mm. And uh, I'd, I'd, she, she was quite. She, she used to feel me, Mazi. She used to eat too much. As in, mm. she used to be too extreme. Yeah. There's a time I went to a place called GNR. And for those of you guys who know GNR, it's a it's a place for eating jahe and a place right. for eating, you know, uji. Yes, yes. You know, this local thing. Mm. So she'd select things <coughs> on the menu using the price. Really? So she she's chagua like this. Then she saw a sandwich, which was going for five hundred at GNR. So I'm like, where, but we are GNR, but. <laughs> You can't buy a sandwich at Jena. Yeah, yeah. That is not their speciality. Yeah, and yeah. we ended up concerning with that chick because she did that to me so many times. Really? We went to some wine bar. You remember wine bar? Yeah. And then she was not drinking the wine. She got angry in the middle. She sipped it once and got angry. Back at the way it was like, where, man? Iki to me, pesa. So you kunyo it after that. Yeah, yeah. So you see now that will pressure a guy yeah. into. Yeah, I, I think in terms of uh, paying for the bill, it's not so much at Nimeli Paleo. As in. I see women going out because women, unlike men, men are very drab, and rarely would we like you and I meet and then at sit somewhere. And because I'm it's not a lovely. big drinker, and neither are you. Um, uh, but women are very together. They're like, oh, so what's going on? No wonder when they break up or there's something that is upsetting to one of them, they all come around and embrace and hug and like, I can imagine me and you, you knew and the man who wouldn't work out. He's actually a punk. Manuel is a useless Jamal. Don't worry, you get somebody worth your salt. And then there's all of that. And they have Umoja, unlike Jamal. But what I've taken keen interest of, most chicks would agree with me that uh, these meetings they have amongst themselves as women, they don't have one woman paying for it. Yeah, they, they, they don't have equal. one woman. They pay equally. In yeah. fact, they're very, they're like, no, 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 sweetie, me, I'll do the wine. Yeah. No, 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 let me do the Maybe food. Maybe it's something they can do. It's something they can do. So the idea that you work in this society, you're dating this guy who's in the same society under the economical uh, uncertainties yeah. or lack thereof, and they're earning the same, you sort of can gauge and see his uh, in the, uh, tax index. Mm -hmm. So why is it that you feel the guy should take you to Costco because it's your birthday? Yeah, just and you're choosing an hotel worth 29 years chicken. Yeah. So I'm thinking we do Diani Reef. But when, why don't they just look at you and know, hey, but now this is like a limit, you know? Like if I'm going out and you're buying me lunch, yeah. you know, I'll, there's a way I'll see your, your behavior, yeah. you know? And then I'll know how, what to order. Absolutely. You get. So yeah. why not just use your... I love it's your not also an eating expedition. Like I've asked you out. This is not a time to stretch your belly and uh, force yourself to puke in your dicks. Check I'll be ready in 20... <laughs> and then now you start feeding heavily. Yeah, you, you know, it's just I'm trying to get to know you. Like I once went out with this chick and then she said, oh, no, no, just give me a minute, let me pay for parking. Just that small thing. I was just like, hey, she's paying for parking. Yeah. That, cause that they do so little, you know, and I'm sure there'll be hate mail and people are going to say, "Hey, Kwani, which chicks are you dating?" Which, by the way, is like the anthem of all chicks with their weird behaviors. Eh? Chicks would say, "Hey, Kwani, which chicks?" Yet those very chicks say that do the same obscene things. Eh? Yeah, but I think uh, if you've dated somebody for say even a year, like people who are watching, if you've dated a guy for one year, how often have you taken your boyfriend out? 
how often have you when was the last time you bought like I dated a chick you know her she used to give me suggestions of things okay um did you like flower vases check your flower vase would be nice for this table Chiki, I was just about to buy you one. Imagine on my way here, <laughs> the one that time she asked me. She was always just yeah. about. Chiki, what's your shirt size? Chiki, uh, 52. Oh my goodness. Imagine I was just about to buy you a shirt. Perpetual. I was just, what's your favorite color? Chiki, well, I don't mind masculine colors. Beige and white wouldn't. Oh my god, I was just about to. In fact, there's one time that particular chick told me to take her for dinner. I'll never forget. She said she's been paid, she wants to take me for dinner because I've been treating her. Mm -hmm. So I said, cool. She said, don't even fuel your car. Like, everything from scratch me, I'm coming to pick you. And I was like, hey, that's nice. I even told you the story. Yeah. And then she came over to my digs. Of course, I had fuel in the moti, then we started driving. She said, so we're going to start with a nice place that I've opened that time Westgate had just opened. So we went to a Japanese restaurant. And she said, so I'm sure you're going to like it here. Isn't it nice? Hot, hot chick, hot chick but character that. Mm. Anyway, so we asked for some Japanese, what, what, what. She had the menu offered. Check, will you have the Hiroshima? Yeah. And they like, oui. So we said, okay, so, so the things were brought. We ate, and uh, so an hour in, she was reading a book. So the bill obviously was brought to my side because the waiter does not know the arrangement yeah. we had with that. So then I reached for my wallet and I paid. She's like, oh, we're done, yay. So the second place I'm taking you. So I'm like, did so I miss? So you paid? Yes. Then, okay. So I was like, did I miss something? But why did you do this? Why uh, did you chop away your wallet? No, because she wasn't paying and I was tired of sitting in that yeah. place. What if she was not taking the... Dinner? No, she wasn't. So she said, the second place. So there's an art cafe that I just opened a village market. So she's like, this place is so scenic, whatnot. So we drove over to village market. So she said, we're going to have a bite, a drink, and then we go watch a movie. Uh, they, those days, uh, they, they, they were still sickly. The, that new metro, you remember new yeah. metro? So we go in, and then we got into this art cafe. She asked for a bottle of wine, and she's having wine. And we are talking. I have a small espresso and some croissant or croissant, mm -hmm. whatever you want to call it. And then we are gassing, and then it's getting dark. It's eight o'clock. So I tell her, hey, but I think let's call it a day. So what I did was, because I was driving to the venue this time, I left my wallet deliberately oh, to see if maybe. Wow. So then she said, yeah, I think we should go. It was so much fun. Oh my God, I'm so tipped. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh my God. This was like the best date. And the, the bill was in front of me. So I'm chilling, 10 minutes, nothing. So I said, should we leave? She said, yeah. So I said, let me grab my wallet in the car. She's like, OK. But even you, why are you being needed twice? You can't be. What would you have said? No, you tell us you're the one who said you'd pay. Aye. It's funny on her part, it's not on my part. No, even In fact, you, when I went to the car, going back to your car to get No, your I went to the car, I called my friend Shadiko. I called Shadiko like and said, I think I heard this chick tell me. She's like, Shadiko was like, and she's not paid! Yeah. So like, she's not paid. But I see I didn't want to be paid here. Eh? No. You see, when they go low, you go high. So I went and dramatically fungoed my wallet. Check in here, how much e wine na e coffee ni mekunyo? Wine! Why do you and how much dry coffee? Ziko pamoja easy bills don't you angu na yake? You know, so that I make a part of it. So then I paid. So I felt con. Yeah, you feel con. Yeah, I was like, home feeling. Yeah, so the fact you're trying there. to papas on my hand, I almost yeah. feel like slapping it yeah. when driving. Check it, me. Check it. Check it. Hey, I'm feeling. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I feel like, jeez, man, like there's yeah. some little effort yeah. goes a long yeah, way. You know, good. just yeah. give us a break. Yeah, give us a break. I mean, a guy says it's broke so poor. I tell you what, there are some out there who are good. Oh, yeah, no, totally. Like, totally. I remember when I met my wife, she, okay, I'm not saying I'm a cheap guy, but she was, she, she was giving effort to, to pay for no, it. Absolutely. She was a student at that time. Oh, no, like I've said, um, apart from the white woman I dated, who was fantastic, yeah. by the way, she was amazing. Um, uh, a lady I met once just went and bought me socks. Mm -hmm. She did buy me socks, yeah. but barely initially in the relationship, yeah. I think a month in, mm. and she's like, hey, I saw some socks that I like yeah. and I bought you. It wasn't my birthday. Yeah. It was nothing. Yeah. She just I bought remember me a chick friend of yours sending you some colognes. You know? Oh, no, that was not a friend of mine. That was my ex-girlfriend, who right. was amazing. Mm. Bought me a whole set of colognes for Christmas. She said, I'm sending you this for Christmas. That's the thing about other women, we have to give them credit. Uh, Mary was, I remember when uh, she was in campus, her help money would come and she'd have all these ideas about, oh, you know, we can do this business and maybe buy shares and do this. Not every woman is bad. This was actually for women who are hard-handed. Uh, 
you know kama wewe ni mchoyo and you keep taking high quality ni mwanaume tu deni joki buva he si kule pesa yake haya kwani atajuaje tu ende tukadance kiza he kwanza naiticha moe moe shadon atajipanga that's weird as in just cut the guys some slack hiyo ni uizi na uporaji na mwaje but the ones who are excellent oh man bless your soul